Good morning. It's another beautiful morning here in southeast Kentucky. And we're back in Letcher County doing a little work on a house. Some uh, drywall repairs from where they had some water damage from a roof leak. We fixed the upstairs last week. And now we're here going to fix the downstairs where it leaked through the subfloor. If you look, it's falling through pretty good. So got one piece, two pieces. And uh, once we get them out, I'm thinking we'll have to replace this one too, because it's kind of it's kind of sagging as well. So one, two, three, four, probably five or six pieces, and uh, we're gonna get right with it and see what we can make happen. Appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned, and we'll get to tearing this thing apart. So day number one, guys, we have the uh, all the bad stuff tore out, so to speak. We have the drywall that's damaged, and uh, we got the insulation that was had mold on it. All the mold on the bottom and the mold on the floor joists for the upstairs, we sprayed with bleach to kill it. Uh, we used like a quarter cup of bleach to two cups of water. <clears throat> that's kind of strong, but we want to make sure it dies. And uh, there was a couple floor joists here we had to trim the bottom of them off of because they were sticking kind of down where they sistered two floor joists. And uh, we trimmed those that way the drywall would be more flush. The drywall beforehand kind of had a little bit of a hump in it and we didn't want that to be like that. So we took and went ahead and trimmed those up. But we're getting this knocked out. Now we have to take all this stuff to the dump we got to go to Lowe's and get all of our supplies. And uh, we may do another job this evening, but I ain't sure yet. But we got to swing by Lowe's, which is like 45, 50 minutes away, and get our supplies. And we'll be back in the morning. And Lord willing, we'll be putting insulation and hanging drywall up. What you got there, Zach? I got the wild red bees. Look at that, boys. That's why we love working out in the, around the sticks here in the mountains. I mean, you got lunch growing right in the hills here. Drywall again, guys. This is like a homemade drywall tee, but we made us a homemade drywall tee, and uh, I'm gonna video and let y'all see the struggle.
Good morning, folks. So we're back here at the job this morning, and the mud's finally dry. And uh, we're going to do a little light sanding over it, and then we're going to try to match in this stomp texture. Uh, we already covered up all the furniture and stuff with drop cloths. I'll show you guys that real quick. Those little plastic drop cloths work great for just keeping dust and stuff off the furniture. But uh, let's get right into this thing and try to do some stomp texture on this ceiling and try to blend it in to match the stomp texture from, I guess, uh, probably at least 20, 25 years ago. And uh, I mean, the ceiling fan was from 1997, so I'd say the ceiling was here well before the ceiling fan, so. Let's get right to it, guys. Appreciate y'all watching. So guys, covered in drywall mud and all. I would probably call that a success. Why well, let me clean that camera off? I would probably call that a success for my first time matching in stomp ceilings. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I'll let you see here and see what you think. Now after we paint it, I think it'll be like not even noticeable. Where the drywall is there for sure and it ain't got no paint on it, you can notice it a little. But as far as the texture, I mean, it just bled right in perfect. I figured I'd show you guys. We're going to clean up. We'll let this dry about, uh, I don't know, it'll be about 30 hours or something when we get back here. And we'll paint it and put some trim up around the top. And this job will be done. I appreciate y'all watching. Hit that like button if you don't care. We'll see you on Monday morning. Morning guys, so we're back here, uh, hopefully last day on this job. We had the ceiling finished and now we just gotta paint all the ceiling and do some trim around the top. But we're gonna get right into it this morning. We ain't gonna play around, play no games. We're gonna get straight to work. So let's get into this guys. I'll show you this tip real quick guys on how to cut in on these spackled ceilings and uh, it's a tip that I kind of guess taught myself I don't know if I've ever seen anybody else do it but get a little paint on just one side of your brush come up here Zach and when you go to cut in put the brush on there kind of feather it out and just kind of just shake it along that edge now it takes a lot of time but you'll cut in perfect and you won't get no paint on the other wall. I hope you can see that. But I mean, if you look here, let me see it, Zach. If you look here, that spot's cut in, that spot ain't, no paint on the wall. Hope that tip helps you guys. Oh, 
So guys, I want to try to show y'all a uh, something to make your trim look much better. See how on the top of that trim there? You can see that little crack? You need to caulk in your trim. And if you see here, when you're doing caulk on trim, you want to move kind of quick. Push that around there. And then once you get it on there like that, you just take your middle finger and just do a gentle swipe across. And that's how you get a nice trim. Got a little bit left over. Just have to take that and wipe it on a rag. But it looks much better afterwards. Guys, that wraps this job up. We just got done vacuuming the floors for the client, cleaning the place up, putting everything back together. And uh, this job's finished. A uh, job well done. In my opinion, it looks great. We took something where the roof was sagging from a pretty bad water leak, ripped all that drywall out, replaced all the bad insulation. I uh, went through and there was some air leaks around the eaves over there, so we insulated around those as well. And uh, got her all put back together, painted the ceiling, trimmed it out, cleaned up, and now we're getting ready to head out. And we got to quote some more jobs, get some more stuff rolling. There'll be a lot of videos coming out here in the future. If you would, like as always, just hit that subscribe button. If you don't care, hit that like button. I do appreciate it very much. Helps me and the family out a lot. And God bless each and every one of you. Leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns. I appreciate it. God bless you. I'll see you later.